My name is Gershwin Smith, better known as High Priest Shiloh, Bermuda Young Progressives. Uh, since 1969, Bermuda Young Progressives have put me forward as a candidate for general elections. I've ran six times. This makes my seventh attempt. Uh, the Young Progressives, I'd like to make two statements. Number one, that our aims and contributions are programs for community development. The support for work opportunity, education, and good relations for a better community. On the note of good relations, I would like to thank the people of Bermuda in advance for treating their candidates at, in the, this general election with courtesy. If it's not the independent or the party candidate that you support, then please be courteous and smile and wish us a good day. On the note of dependence, independence, and interdependence, I have already stated on public radio that my personal feelings on those three entities, I support and promote and uphold interdependence. Build a better world. We should embrace London and we should also embrace Ghana. Thank you. Any questions? Six times, not seven. Yes, sir. It has made a difference over the last six times. It has encouraged the average person to keep up their optimistic views for a better Bermuda. And when we do not get the kind of vision that we are looking for, we have to run for parliament ourselves if we have vision and encourage others to do so. I think this time with, fif with 15 independent candidates, I think that the example that I have set over the years has been a good example. You talk about interdependence embracing London and Ghana. I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. Well, I will explain it in a, in a, in a brief note. Um, when we hear of independence, we, we uh, usually understand breaking away from London, flying your own flag, and paddling your own canoe. Um, some people support that, but for me, I would like to know more about the uh, economics in the transition. And um, from my perspective, I'm above the egotistics of common politics. And I see the brighter picture. It's a new world coming, and interdependence is for the nations that want a better world. You represent the young progressives, and I suspect you mean that plural. Um, but your people are not here. Why are Everybody's working. Who's working? Um, this wasn't an uh, invitation to the public. This is not a rally. This was a statement to clear up young progressives name and their kind of uh, attitude in general and in public and uh, something surfaced in the news recently with our name attached and we just like to say that our thing is good relations for a better community and I would like to thank the Premier for, for hitting the nail on the head as to say that journalists should make uh, phone calls before they make reports. How many votes do I expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, percentage wise, I would say 99%, being realistic. I, I have to ask you this, Mr. Smith, and I 
Like everyone saw it in public. Yes. But do you really think at this time and the birth of so concentrating on jobs and crime and education, do you really think that the Bermudas are going to take you seriously? They have to. If they don't, Bermuda's done. <laughs> I have the vision. I see the brighter picture. I see the picture like the average person. I see the bigger picture like the uh, actuaries, and I see the brighter picture. So tell me, I mean, your fortune, what is it you see that the other politicians seem to have difficulty identifying? I see peace, and I work in toward peace. Um, my motto, personally, and I'll soon have it out on, on my leaflets, we stand for peace, re Conciliation and truth. And uphold that. If Bermuda could uphold those three entities, we have a better Bermuda on the way to build a better world. And that's the message you're taking to the doorstep. Oh, yes, sir. Mr. Smith, in your statement, you mentioned the word new world. Just curious, do you have an opinion on the concept of the new world order? Um, only what um, I've heard over the years now. And then uh, with the New World phrase itself, uh, different religions have different perspectives and views. And I would suggest that everyone read and absorb all of the truth because history, legend, prophecy, and mythology merge at the crossroads of time. That's where the world is today, at the crossroads. Where do you see Bermuda moving forward in the next five years? Depends on who gets in the House of Assembly. That would depend on who leads the House. So uh, I really couldn't say at this time.